Hey everyone, it's Gabrielle Carolina from the Mod Podge Bookshelf, and you are back in my office! Yay! I bought Women, Art, and Society, and this is by Whitney Chadwick, and it is for school. I'm taking a Women in Art class. I've discovered a new painting I absolutely adore, and it's this one by Marie Denise Viers, and I just think that's so gorgeous. I got two packages of Awesome this week, and the first one was from Scholastic. I got Above by Leah Bobbitt which is a post-apocalyptic, like, romance, thriller, espionage I don't even think I'm, like, got that correctly at all. Basically, it's kind of like, okay, this is one of those books that's really hard to describe. I, mmm, I, I maybe, I don't, like, it's like post-apocalyptic magical realism. Okay, so, there's a guy and they live, like, below, and he's in love with this girl who has bumblebee wings, and she wants to go above. And it sounds awesome, and the writing is very, I started it, the writing's really convincing. Convincing is a good word for it. I really feel dropped into their world immediately. And it's a debut this year. I also got The Secret Tree by Natalie Standiford. I think this is her middle grade debut. Natalie wrote Confessions of the Sullivan Sisters and How to Say I Love You in Robot, I think. I got the third book in Katherine Lasky's Daughters of the Sea series, and this one is called Lucy. The first two are Hannah and Hannah and Hannah, Hannah, I can't remember. The first one's called Hannah. Dream Sleeves by Colleen Murtaugh Perator, and this is a contemporary told in that kind of voice I really love. I pull out my diary and pen from under my mattress and write down my wide awake summer dreams. I will find a way to stop dad from drinking. Mom will make dad buy our house before it's too late. And Mike Mancinello will like me. So that sounds really cute. I can't wait. I love the cover. She's blowing a bubble with the rainbow sparkling off it. Eee. And I got Underworld by Meg Cabot, which I promptly opened and read all the way through. And I needed my fix, but it really wasn't any better. But it was Meg Cabot, so... I'm beginning to think that the woman owns me. And then I got a package of awesome from Harper and I got this book called Smart Girls Get What They Want and it's by Sarah Strohmayer. I think it's a debut this year. It's about three brainy girls who kind of transform themselves in high school. Wanted by Heidi A. Arby and this is Robin Hood mixed with Bonnie and Clyde in a contemporary. I got Unraveling by Elizabeth Norris. This book I wasn't interested in and my friend started all reading it and adoring it and they were like you have to read it you have to read it now it's a nice big book which I appreciate bigger books you know more meat Hemlock by Kathleen Peacock and this is another I wasn't really planning to read because it's werewolves but when I found out that Catherine Teigen is the one who published it everyone is flipping out over this book the cover is gorgeous and Catherine and I always seem to like like the same things so I felt maybe I should try it out. So Close to You by Rachel Carter. And this is a contemporary that's kind of, again, kind of magical realism-y. Something about a Montauk project. And I can't remember who reviewed this, but someone reviewed this and it sounded exactly like what I wanted from a book. I have no love for this cover, but it sounds really great and it's an underrated debut and I like underrated debuts, so we'll see. And then I got The Vicious Deep by Zoreta Cordova, and this is the ARC cover, and I've got to tell you. Okay, do you guys remember the great siren with, like, the bleeding lips, and, like, she's like, or whatever, and we all loved this cover, right? And then they replaced it with an equally cool cover that's much more approachable for both guys and girls. And I was really excited, because I was like, oh, I can get the 
cover along with the, the you know, real, like, the trident and everything. Because I figured that they'd printed the arcs with the girl. And this arc is neither of those things. I hate when they do that. Then Trish Dollar sent me The Taker by Alma Katsu. Amy over at Reading Teen adores this book. And I'd had it on my list even before Amy flipped out over it. But then it made me want to read it all the more. And it's an adult supernatural or adult paranormal. You like read about all the different lives this girl has had. And I really like stuff like that. That's the kind of paranormal I like because I feel like there's a lot of symbolism in that and there's a really good chance for really rich writing. So I'm really excited. Really, 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 really. I really am. And that's all for me this week. I feel very sing-songy today. I want to sing about it all. I want to sing about it all. Yeah, I'm an opera singer. Could you tell? Let me know what you have received in your mailbox this week in the comments below. And have a wonderfully bibliophilic week. Okay, guys. See you later. Bye.